Kubernetes 1.26 major theme container runtime interface which is CRI API v1 so if you go to the Kubernetes blog 1.26 right and CRI v1 alpha 2 removed this is as a part of major theme so let's try to understand this so before that we'll try to understand what is CRI and why it was into the picture and by the way for the container runtime interface I have created a one detailed video which is 10 months back if anybody did not watch uh, please go and watch for the basic but however here I will recap what exactly CRI means so usually in the CKA what we learn is I wanted to provision a cube ADM cluster which is one master one worker node first what I will do first I will install a container D in both machines then cube ADM then kubelet I will install in both the machine then kubectl as well then I will do the cube ADM in it that will create a control plane components only in the master node so cube ADM in it I will install I will trigger in the master node then after that CNI I will install in a worker node and master node then after that here what happens is kubelet will try to communicate and negotiate with the container D because ultimately the pod means internally container container means container runtime which is this guy will create this guy how it will create this guy will in instruct this guy will be listened by this particular control plane right then kubeadm join when you do this worker node will join into this particular cluster that's how kubeadm cluster provisioning works very high level so here point is kubelet will try to negotiate with the container D next so here container runtime interface before container runtime interface how it was the, what was the reason CRI was introduced so before CRI right so this is a Kubernetes system and that this is a one of the worker node or master node whatever this is a kubelet kubelet was having a, a inbuilt code of docker because long back only docker was the only the container runtime that time kubelet was integrated the code of docker shim the shim is something like a one api or some functionality of a kubelet which is hard coded as a part of this kubelet that shim what it will do is it will call the docker daemon and docker daemon will call internally container d and this container d will invoke the run c and finally your original container will create that will be as a pod we will see so this is was part of with the kubelet then later second runtime was introduced cause a rocket then after that hyper etc etc there are multiple runtimes were introduced so here kubelet is having a code to create a docker container but as soon as uh, this container runtimes are increased it's very hard to modify the kubelet code every time hence container runtime interface was introduced which is CRI so CRI this is a kubelet and kubelet was having a this particular code and of course in 1.24 it was removed after that what happened is this kubelet is introduced a CRI which is container runtime interface just an interface that will talk to plugin that plugin will talk to the container runtime specific implementers container D CRI O firecracker rocket LXD smart way there are many more container runtime implementers so if you go to the cloud native landscape right this is a cloud native landscape right and click on a container runtime these are the container runtime as per the ccnf cncf right so these runtimes will have internally shim api that shim api you know it's a kind of a gateway internally that gateway what kind of a pod you wanted to create sandboxing pod or normal pod or any kind of a hardened pod hardened container then ultimately it will sit in the pod so that's how CRI architecture how implementation this is a very high level right I hope you understand next container runtime 
so this is the what the container run times available as per this landscape as we just saw and this particular here the next CRI architecture so this is a any of the host Linux system right and this is a kubelet and this is a container runtime which is container container means container runtime this kubelet is having a generic runtime manager which is a one of the internal component with the kubelet that will talk to container runtime interface this is a CRI this is a just interface no implementation just the interface and we know docker sim and network plugin etc this was removed 1.24 and after 1.24 what happened this CRI plugin was introduced means like either docker or CRI plugin for the kubelet so this plugin also called as a remote this remote what it will does is it will try to negotiate with the container runtime through gRPC communication Google remote procedure call here Kubelet is having a two options one is a docker which is deprecated in 1.24 and then other option is the CRI plugin which is via this interface so this plugin is opens an option to connect to any of the containers as per the CNCF landscape approved runtime these all runtimes right and here go to the kubelet documentation and search for container runtime right here you see here container runtime default is remote of course earlier docker was removed and default is remote so this will connect to grpc and internally container runtime have a streaming api and sim api and also the sim api and sim API will connect to CNI container and pos images etc then ultimately container engine if you wanted to harden or regular container all these things will be taken care so another point is here remote right so this remote is having a first option is container runtime endpoint other one is image service endpoint these two options will tell the kubelet that where is this guy this orange color guy which is container runtime where is this guy that's what the this will tell container runtime endpoint so if you go to the documentation here after the container runtime hyphen container runtime endpoint means this is a remote but what is remote which runtime you are using that runtime is installed as a, a unix socket that will run there right and image service endpoint also if you search for the image service endpoint you will see it so image hyphen service see image service endpoint this one also if endpoint remote image service if not specified it will be same as a container runtime endpoint which is this guy if this is not specified this will be taken right that's how kubelet will know where is this guy orange color guy means container runtime so here one important point is this CRI container runtime interface point of view it will support v1 only from 1.26 onwards so if you go to the kubernetes blog CRI v1 alpha to remove v1 alpha to remove and only support v1 only means kubernetes will release v1 alpha 1 v1 alpha 2 then v1 it they won't come to v2 v1 v2 alpha 2 so alpha beta and then go to the actual version so that's what the it means right and yeah container d 1.1 onwards so current version so i have a two node kubernetes cluster which is container d 1.6 so point to note is 1.1 onwards container d architecture is kubelet is a, just a client and this is the actual container will create right and CRI container runtime interface is a just an interface whereas CRI plugin means like a plugin will have a implementers container D implementation will create this the simple the kubelet is a client this is ultimate destination what we want and this is the guy is doing one two three step process so container D which is a one of the popular container runtime so if you go to the cnf landscape right and the container d this has the largest number of a contribution and very popular 
right and this particular architecture point of view it's downloaded from the internet just you search it you will get it right and the point is here uh, under the clients for this container d kubernetes is also one of the client kubelet kubernetes means the kubelet is a client for the runtime and this is entire container d architecture and this is actual hardware system i have created a detailed video in my youtube channel which is container d cli debugging tool ctr this tutorial i have explained in a very detail about this architecture if anybody did not watch please go and watch it now so today's topic we are talking about the kubeadm right so if you i have a two node kubernetes cluster which is 1.6.13 right and i am inside of my worker node or else you can go to the master node or worker node anywhere you go right and kubeadm configuration which is located here and if i do the cat here this is a kubeadm configuration right and also there is a configuration which is called kubeadm flags so first kubeadm configuration will have a various configuration and here environment file kubeadm flags this kubeadm flags will have a kubelet kubeadm arguments which is container runtime endpoint and pod infra container so let's go back to the slide right if you go to this particular flight kubelet kubeadm args container runtime endpoint right container runtime means kubelet is knowing where is the container runtime container runtime is running as a part of this particular socket and pod infra container image which is a pos container means like a container runtime what it want container runtime point of view like a one is this pos container and other one is this end point these are the configurations for the kubelet so that's what the i mean and also you if you want you can add image service endpoint as well right and if it you are using any other container runtime this will be changed this for your info and this is what the just now we have seen in the actually uh, you just go and hit this now this is a two days topic actually in a 1.26 cri alpha right so if you look at the container runtime point of view you go to my cluster right and i have created by using vagrant and which is a latest ubuntu image 1.26 container d i am using 1.6.13 and if you look at the container runtime releases currently this orange color 1.6 which is lts which is long term support until the 2025 so the current version is 1.6.13 but what is the latest version is available here this is a container d github 1.6.15 right and mine is 1.6.13 just a few days back i installed and i was using some experiments right so here this is the what the current version and kubernetes 1.26 which is 1.26 point of view the mandatory is a 1.6 it won't work with the 1.5 that is the most important point to remember with respect to this particular change so many of the people try to create a kubernetes cluster 1.26 with the old cri you will get an error so why because kubernetes cri support only v1 only v1 alpha 2 was deprecated so we have to use 1.6.1 either but not 1.5 so maybe you can ask what is the difference so there are uh, api specific cri specific changes why because 1.24 onward docker shim was removed then after that the, this is a continue period and now is completely get rid of the the old apis so now that's what the it's a v1 that's what the this uh, today's topic that's what the we have uh, learned about this cri etc etc so this is a compatibility and where i taken this particular information is here in the container d releases dot md and if you scroll down here and by the way lts means long term support right this is the what the container d run times 1.7 not yet released 
right and kubernetes support this is the kubernetes version this is the container version this is the cri version right and what are the apis etc you can go and read here so this is the one so ultimately what i am trying to say is this is the what the my kubernetes cluster so 1.26 and this is the what the container d runtime i am using so kubernetes if using a 1.26 means we are talking about the containers containers client is kubelet which is a part of a, a kubernetes so it's a, like a army man of a kubernetes right and this kubelet will use a v1 of cri and try to negotiate with the container runtime unless it negotiate with the container d it won't create a pods so and 1.6 dot is compulsory for 1.26 that's what the today's topic and that's it for this particular video point of view i hope this video is helpful and if anybody is watching first time please do like subscribe like comment share and keep watching this space for the more videos thank you bye bye